Hello students, today we are going to study a problem on histogram equalization. Okay. The theoretical concepts, everything was covered in the class. So this is this video only for problem solving on histogram equalization. Moving to the problem statement here. Perform histogram equalization of following four cross four image f of x comma y over grayscale values as specified in the image draw the histogram processed output image. Before going to solve the problem, let us focus on these five points which is listed there. The first point is the probability of occurrence of intensity levels RK. RK here is the intensity levels. In a digital image is approximated by PR of RK. M cross N. M corresponds to number of rows in the image and N corresponds to number of columns in the image. So this M cross N is the total number of pixels in the image. Moving to the third point, NK is the number of pixels that have intensity RK. Whereas capital L is the number of possible intensity levels in the image. Last point, processed or also called as output image is obtained by mapping each pixel in the input image with intensity RK into a corresponding pixel with level SK in the output image. These five points are very important to solve the problem. Now moving to the image which is given there. The image which is shown over here image which is shown over here is a 7 cross 7 image. Isn't it? Because here the number of rows and number of columns if you consider it is 7 cross 7. Zero, uh, starting from 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 7 rows, columns, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and 7. So it is 7 cross 7. So the size if you consider M cross N here it is 40. 9 that is 49 now but in the question they asked us to solve for 4 cross 4 image so we have to consider 4 cross 4 image from this so if you consider that it will come around like this we have to consider four rows and four columns now the image is considered over here you can see here isn't it this is the image now here the number of rows is four isn't it and number of columns is 4. So Mn is M cross N which is 4 cross 4 16. Now the first step here is to get the values of Rk. Okay. Now what is Rk? The intensity levels. So if you write the intensity levels R0, R1, R2, R3, R4, R5, R6, R7. You can see the different values which is present in this 4 cross 4 image. So what is that different values you can see? The first intensity value what you can write or intensity level what you can write R0 is equal to 0. Here it is shown. Next value R1 is equal to 1. R2 equal to 2. R3 is 3. R4 is 4. R5 is 5. R6 is 6. R7 is 7 over here in the top. Okay. Now Next step is to write for NK. What is that NK? NK is the number of pixels that have intensity RK. So in this image there are 0, 1, 2 and all. Up to 7 values are there. Now here in, for writing NK we have to see how many 0 values are there in this image. So here you can see only one zero value is there. Here and another 0 value is there over here so two values of zeros are there so we are writing here it as two next is one 
if you go for one intensity value here you can see one 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 so there are four ones so we are writing it as four similarly if you write for two you will see three twos three if you consider one three is there three four is there and if you go for five only one five is there six if you check only one six is there for seven if you check only seven, one seven is there now the next first work you are done the first work is to solve for your rk finding the value of rk and nk the next step if you want to write is to write that that step is finding pr of rk for that we have one formula of nk divided by mn now you have values of this nk over here and you have mn so if you solve this nk by mn you will get different values okay so that is 2 divided by 16 if you do you will get 0.125 4 divided by 16 3 divided by 16 1 divided by 16 3 divided by 16 One divided by sixteen. One divided by sixteen. One divided by sixteen. Now, your second step is also done. Now, let us move to the third step. Third step is to find your values of S K. For finding values of this S K, we have one formula over here. What is that? S K is equal to T R of R T of R K and Which is is equal to L minus one. Okay, L minus one into summation J is equal to zero to K. P R of R J. The formula is shown over here. Okay, now if you substitute this, see the total. What is L here? L is the number of possible intensity levels in the image. Here you can see that you can have intensity levels starting from zero to seven. So how how many it is? What is the value of L? Zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So there are eight intensity levels. So here what you have to consider is L minus one. Your L is eight, so your L minus one will be seven. So we are here for solving S zero, we are considering seven multiplied with P R of R J. Summation J is equal to zero to K P R of R J. We have to consider. So in the first case. What is that P R value we are having here? That is zero point one two five. So we have to multiply your seven with zero point one two five. We will get zero point eight seven five. That zero point eight seven five we have written over here. Now, in the similar way, since the summation value is considered here, we have to take the previous value into considering. Uh, so we have to take the previous value also for calculating. So this is seven multiplied with Previous value of P R of R K that is zero point one two five, and the present value that is zero point two five. That is, if you add like this, seven into zero point one two five previous value plus current value zero point two five, you will get two point six two five. That is written over here. In the same way, you have to consider for your S two. How we can consider that S two seven multiplied by This first value zero point one two five, second value zero point two five, zero point one eight seven five. That is your current value. If you solve like that, you will get this S two. Similarly, you have to solve for S three, S four, S five, S six, and S seven. Okay. Now, before moving to this approximation step, there. See this in the question we have asked to draw the output image also so first we will plot the input image see in this graph which is shown over here you can see the rk we are considering in the x axis and pr of rk we are considering the y axis okay this we have to draw and this is your first graph we can say this is somewhat corresponding to your input image there okay this plot you have to draw rk and pr of rk now since you have calculated your sk also here you got the range of values for your sk we have to plot this also so in your second graph 
plot rk in the x axis and sk in your y axis this corresponds to your third graph draw the graph according to the values you got while calculating your pr of rk in this first graph and sk in case of your second graph now you have plotted two graphs and you have calculated your sk now the third step here is to we have to approximate the values we have got in this sk so the first value what we are having here it is 0 0.875 that is 0 0.9 so let us approximate that to some 1 next value is 2.625 isn't it so let us approximate that to some 3 third is 3.93 approximate that to some 4 next value is 4.37 so we have to approximate that to 4 again the next value is 5.6875 approximately to 6 6.125 approximately to 6 6.56 or 6.6 .6, approximately to 7 7 approximately to 7 okay now this approximation work is done now you can see this 1 and 3 are distinct unique values whereas this 4 is repeating over here 6 is repeating 7 is repeating isn't it so in the first step what did we what did we tell processed image is obtained by mapping each pixel in the input image with intensity rk into a corresponding pixel with level sk in the output image so it is nothing but mapping work here so here you can see these two four four values are same or it is repeating so to cal calculate this new value what we have to do is that we have to check the nk values of this four va uh, four four s0 values we are getting right four four values repeating so we have to go for nk values of these two values what is nk in case of this first four here it is three what is the nk for this four the second four here it is one so you have to add these that we are doing here three plus one we are doing so we got four so four is something what we have got now the thing is that in the third graph what you are supposed to draw is this ps of sk versus sk or ps of sk in your y axis and sk in your x axis in the first graph you have considered pr of rk and rk so now what happen what happens is that for this value of pr of rk you have considered nk by mn but to draw this ps of sk since two values are repeating we have to calculate this once again so we are considering this nk values that is 3 and 1 since we are getting only single value for these two different nk values 3 and 1 we have to add these nk values so 3 plus 1 we are doing okay so the sum is 4 again we have to divide by 16 4 by 16 0.25 for calculating pr of rk what you did nk by mn you did right here the second step so to calculate or to plot this ps of sk we have to calculate this once again so again 6 and 6 you are having so corresponding nk values 3 over here and 1 over here 3 plus 1 if you do it is 4 so you have to divide this 4 by 16 mn 16 is nothing but your mn value so if you do that 4 by 16 0 0.25 you will get now the third value that is repeating is 7 so corresponding nk value is 1 over here and 1 over here so 1 plus 1 is 2 so 2 by 16 you will do it is 0 0.125 okay these are the new values what you have got now here since we are having 1 3 4 6 7 only 5 values in case of sk your third plot while drawing the x-axis is sk right so though you are writing 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, you will get the plot only for your 1, 3, 4, 6 and 7. I am drawing it as a rough graph. While drawing in the exam, you have to draw it properly according to the scale. Okay. Now in the third output graph, we will get the values only for 5 values or 5 values of SK that is. 1 3 4 6 7 now you got the corresponding probability values that is ps of sk you have calculated three new values here rest is 2 is same 
okay these two two values are same one and three is unique that value is not changing whereas three values you had here changing okay so you have to keep that in mind and consider your ps of sk now you have considered ps of sk by considering these new values along with the two one and three unique values and you got your sk values as one three four six seven and plot, plot the third graph this is a way to solve your histogram equalization problem thank you